Hello and welcome to Happy Vending. I'm Bill and today I'm going to show you how to put custom displays on this AP123 snack machine. Happy Vending. So this is an Automated Products 123 snack machine, and although this machine is over 20 years old, it has a lot of neat features in the control menu that you can activate on it. And one of them is having custom displays come up on the point of sale display right here. Now the default display is have a nice day, and then after a bend it usually would say thank you very much. But you can have different messages come up and different messages come up after a product vends. And I've already modified this one and I'm going to show you. I'm going to vend the product and show you the message that I have come up. I'm going to put 75 cents in and just get some Milano cookies, 160 and watch the display. It says thank you very much which is the default but then it says Go Bears. This machine is in a high school and the mascot is the bear. So by saying Go Bears, it brings a little bit of local connection to the machine. Let's go in here and I'm going to show you how this works. Now this is a 20 year old machine and it has this feature. So I'm sure a lot of new machines also allow you to set the display. Crane bought out automated products, so I'm sure a lot of the new Crane machines allow for this. I can't tell you for sure exactly what machines do it, but you can check out your owner's manual and see if it has this feature. To get into it, you open up the machine, and here is the keypad to set up the machine, and you press the green enter button, and that gets you into the different menus. And then you're gonna use your purple arrow button to get to the display menu. Display. You press enter to get into it, and then you press your arrows to go through the different display menus. And we're looking for set user messages. These are the messages that will display all the time as users are walking by the machine before even a product is vended. So I'm going to press enter. Now the first one you see is point of sale F. That stands for factory display. That's the one that says have a nice day. Although it says edit, you cannot edit that display. But I can hit my plus button here and go to the next one which is A or B or C. Those three displays can be edited. So I'm just going to do point of sale A and now I'm going to press enter, the green enter button and it says user message A1. I am just going to go over top of this with my new message by using these plus and minus buttons on the keypad here and this could be time consuming because you know you have to go through the alphabet like this. I'm going to have it say, what do you think? I'm going to start with H. <laughs> I'm going to have an A. A P. Does anybody know what I'm going to have it say? Comment below. You have special characters in here and lowercase as well. And of course a blank if you want to put a space. You have numbers, punctuation. They thought of everything here. Of course, uh, since you don't have a keyboard, it does take some time. Where is my blank? There it is. Let's have a V. How about an E and G? Now we have to put blanks here to cover over this stuff. This is not something you want to do on a regular basis. This is like a one-time thing. 
This is very tedious. And they should have a keyboard port on the machine where you can plug a keyboard and do this quickly. If your message has more words than will display here, it will scroll the message. Oh, you know what? I just realized I didn't have to do that. I could have used this delete key. You see the delete key? If you're over top of a letter and you press this delete button, you see that? It deletes it. So I could have just deleted all of these spaces. Now that I have it all set, I'm going to press my enter key. And then I can just escape out of this. And there it is. But I have to now set it to display that. You see it says edit. If I go over here with my arrow to that where it says edit and then press my plus, it says set. And when it's on set, I'm going to press my green enter. And now it should display that happy vending. Once you close it, it goes into operation mode and it's displaying happy vending. It's not displaying the factory setting now. It's just displaying happy vending. I think to get it to display the factory one, I have to maybe go back in there and make sure I hit set on the factory display. Let's go in there and see if we can do that. We're going to press enter. We're gonna press our arrows till we get to display. Press enter. Press our arrows till we get to set user messages. Press enter. This one here is the point of sale factory. Go over to edit. Go plus the set and press enter. What I'm thinking is maybe it can only display one of these messages, either one of the three custom ones that I made or the factory one. It's a possibility that it won't display all of them. We'll find out. Escape, escape. Let's close this and see what it does. So now we're back to our have a nice day. Is it going to say happy vending? So it looks like it will only display one message out of the four that are in there, the factory or the three custom ones. Let's try having Mayan scroll like that. We'll put a bunch of extra spaces in there and watch it scroll. We'll press enter. We'll go back into our display, enter, go to set user messages, enter, go press plus, go to A, enter, happy vending. I think I, I have to hit the insert button to insert spaces before the word happy vending until it's off screen like this and then press enter, and then escape. And now I'm gonna go over here to edit, go plus the set, press enter, so now it activates this, this, this message instead of the factory message. Escape, let's close it up, and now it should say happy vending. But it should scroll, just like it did on have a nice day. It will always say no row eight because there is a, a NOAA 8 row in this machine. Happy vending. There it is. So that's if you wanted to scroll. Now there is one other option in here and I am going to show you. As far as the, the display when you come up to the machine. Let's press enter. Let's go back into display. Enter. Go to our user messages, press enter, and I'm going to um, hit the plus to go through the different ones. There is a point of sale D. Now this is not an editable display, 
what D stands for is date and time. So if I go over to that and press set and enter, it's now going to display the date and time when people come up to the machine. Let's escape, close the door. So there you go. I don't think there's a way to change the date from 24 hour or the time from 24 hour time and this display configuration day, month, year. But if this is what you would like displayed on your machine, you have that option. Now as far as the display after the bend, let me show you how that works. You once again go into your enter to go into your menus. Use your plus to get to display. Press enter. We want to go to not to set user messages. This one here set out of service. This is a display that would display if the machine is in out of service mode. You know, something like sorry for the inconvenience or something like that. But here it is, set after sale. This is after event, what is it going to say? Press enter, and here is that custom message that I typed in there. It will always say thank you, but this is what it will display after it says thank you, and I typed in there, go bears, and I'm not going to change that, I'm gonna let that go. But that is how you would set that. Same way as before with your plus and your minus keys to go through all the different letters and numbers and punctuation. Well, hopefully you learned something about setting custom displays on a snack machine. And as always, happy vending.